Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, my name is Cheryl Grabowski, guys, and I'm so glad that you took the time to come over to my channel today. My channel, Cheryl Grabowski, and today we are eating fish balls, y'all. Look at that. Y'all see that? I made them homemade. They're nice and round. Fish balls, and then we're going to have a salad right here on the side. So, but before we get into this good eating, my channel is about good conversation and good food. I cook a lot over here on my channel. Like today, I've cooked these fish balls. I'll tell y'all how I made them and all. Um, if this is your first time, do me a favor. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here, okay? Conversing with me, learning with me, and engaging with me in the comment section. I'm so he here for all of you got new guys that, who have subscribed to the channel. I don't know why I can't talk right now. Hold on, y'all. Let me breathe. Hold on. So all of you new guys who have subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. I am enjoying y'all, okay? And I hope y'all enjoying the content and everything that goes on over here, okay? Fairly, y'all, I'm not a brand new YouTuber, but I'm, I'm pretty in the new park, okay? Like I uploaded some videos two years ago and then I stopped and then... Uh, I guess about eight months eight months ago, I started back up. So subscribers, mwah, 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 don't forget to comment. All righty. So I have not finished preparing my salad, and I'm gonna take a couple of no, no, I'm gonna take a do a thumbnail right now. Let's see. Okay. All righty. Now. I guess we're going to do a story time too, y'all, in just a minute. But let me put what I like to put extra on the salad, so some, which are sunflower seeds. I got croutons. I got cucumbers. I got bell pepper. I got red peppers. I got a little ham in here, a little carrot, celery, fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm, that's what's in the salad. And um, Vidalian onion is in here. All right, so I've done that. Sunflower seeds. So let me add my baking bits. Let me add that. Y'all can't see me while I'm adding this stuff. Hold on, child. All right. My daughter will probably come in here and fix her plate while we're engaging. Is it, do I have my fork? Yes. Okay. And then for the dressing, y'all here for Catalina. She's delicious, very sweet, tangy, very good. All right. Oh, y'all, no cheese. I don't do cheese very much. No cheese at all. Okay, right. And right here to the side, y'all, I have my tall glass of ice. Okay, glass. And I'm going to pour my black raspberry into here y'all because i'm here for all the sounds okay y'all listen real good y'all excuse the noise in the background that could be a thumbnail keep pouring y'all i also have an adult beverage over here it's like a bud light depends on if i really get into the story time today let me taste oh, so good that's my clock over there in the background and i have some tartar sauce i have some duke mayonnaise <laughs> i'm gonna kind of fix me a little dipping sauce while i'm sitting here duke's mayonnaise and also, I have some white vinegar. Okay. All right. Let me get in here. Y'all, I'm going to admit that I made a batch of these. Um, what was it? Night before last. Okay. So, I know they're good. Hold on, y'all. Whoops. I can't get this thing open. Where's my fork? Ooh. All right. Put a 
tartar sauce. Y'all, I promise y'all I'm gonna get to eat. Hold on. So, I'm gonna slide these back for right now. Right there. And I wanna put it, y'all ain't gonna be able to see, see it though. You'll see it on the fish, but the tartar sauce is right there. Ooh, my mouth is watering, y'all. Okay. Then I'm here for the Dukes. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, that just... The Dukes just has its original taste, and I just can't compromise when it comes to it. And then I have some hot sauce, but I'm going to start off... Oh, let me pray over the food. Hold on, y'all. dip around a little piece in the salad but how y'all doing today i hope y'all are doing well y'all probably hear my washing machine in the background excuse me y'all excuse me if you can hear it. i know you can hear it okay mm, mm, mm. if you've not tried catalina Ooh, it's zesty too. Do yourself a favor and try it. You're gonna love it. <clears throat> All right. So, for our fresh first fish ball. Take a bite. Mm-hmm. So, she see me kind of open it. Y'all, it is so good. It's kind of giving me salmon cakes vibes, but also almost like a crab cake. But you just shape it like a ball. So, and it's so the fish that I have in it, so I'm going to give you the ingredients. So, it's whiting fillets. I, I think I purchased six of them. So, in a bowl, you scrape the, the fish. Mm, mm. You separate the fish from the skin. Mm-hmm. And then you add one, two, three, about five tablespoons of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of, two to three tablespoons of um, seafood batter of your choice. And then onion powder or whatever seasoning seasoning you want to put in it like i put i used a little goya a little obey um some basil i think i put a little oregano in it um a little garlic salt mm -hmm. one egg i mean you could do two eggs if you like and you just stir it up really good really good and then i add it y'all which is i don't i just added it just a little bit of milk, just a little bit. And then you make them into a ball and you put them in your hot oil. So I cook these in extra virgin olive oil. And it didn't burn because it don't take long for them to cook. To fry. The salad is good too. Mm-hmm. Mm, cucumbers are sliced so thin. Mm. And then the celery and the cilantro, you know, adds like a freshness to your salad. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. And then the basil, that's fresh too. And I don't really like to drown my salad with my dressing. Just enough. y'all about two weeks ago I had to go in for a biopsy on my breast and two weeks before that after having a 3D mammogram. They told me that um that I probably I needed to have a biopsy done because of what they saw. So y'all, that was so scary. It wasn't like, I still did everything that I did every day, but when you got something like that hanging over your head, it was really scary. But it also was a, a time of reflection for me. Cause I mean, you don't know well, sometimes people go to the hospital and they get diagnosed with something. They go, that's the washing machine. It's on the other side of this bread stand here. And something fell off of it. But yeah, people go to the hospital. I ain't trying to depress y'all or nothing. I'm just saying, you know, we're just talking about life. And sometimes... They get diagnosed with something. The doctor say, oh, you know, you got six months to live. And the next thing you know, in three days, they're dead. So, yeah, when the doctor told me that, I don't know. Just made me feel numb. But anyway, it past that point, when I start reflecting, I was like, okay. If I hear some bad news, what then? What do I do? What do I want to do that I hadn't done? How? These are questions that I ask myself. How do I want to experience life for the time that I have left? Those are questions I ask myself. And at the end of answering, answering those questions, Then I got real, like, super grateful. <laughs> and this is the part I want to talk to y'all about. Um, <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. See, that wasn't no bad burp. <laughs> but that's the part I want to talk to y'all about. How... How grateful I got, like, like I'm sitting in my kitchen now and to my left is my side door to my house and half of the door is a window, right? So I'm looking out the window. So there's my yard, there's a huge pine tree, there are a couple squirrels, there's the neighbor's house. Those are other trees, there are other trees, there's the grass. This is how I started looking at stuff. Everything I looked at, I looked at it this way. And then beyond the trees, you know, you see the sky. And all of a sudden, I was just like, oh my God, I'm just so glad that that I had a chance to be here, like in this world. Because I think it's super fantastic. 
in spite of all the bullshit, the crime, the disease, the murders, and all of the things that we, that give us a hard time in life, in spite of all those things, I fucking love life. That's why I'm going to tell you. I got so grateful, it was ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. Like, I mean, there are so many things that we can do in life that we don't do because we're afraid to do it. Mm -hmm. There are so many experiences that, that we can do that we just hadn't done. So I don't know about y'all. I don't know what y'all gonna do. But I, I'm getting ready to live on purpose, okay? Now, I've always had a sense of Life is to be explored. I've always had that. Mm -hmm. I think I was pretty much born that way. But even more so now. And and y'all, what's what, what do y'all think about that? Because I think the saddest thing about this whole thing, about me being grateful for the time that I have to live here and be here, and how when I come to, when I think about that, I only think about enjoying life more. I'm not fascinated or vaccinated on, or fixed on the idea of life after the earth experience. I'm not if fixated on that because it'll take care of itself. You know what I mean? Or do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure before, and this I told my auntie, I said, listen, there's nobody right now that can convince me that we lived, all humans lived somewhere else in another type of existence before we got here. And after this experience, we'll live thereafter. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me no different because I know uh, that that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. When I was looking out the window, I was looking at the leaves and the trees. And how the leaves fall to the ground and die. Then they decay into the ground and the, inert, the, the nutrients and all goes into the soil which regenerates the tree from the roots as the nutrients and all that that broke down before now done turn into tree food in a sense goes all the way back up to, to the top and then the leaves are reborn again and everything else the shark is in the ocean he swims around in the ocean during the duration of his life whatever that is the lifespan He eventually dies. He falls down to the bottom of the ocean. The other fishes eat him. And then they have fish and spit out another fish. Listen. <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to today, but don't worry. Think about what you want to do. And then think about how you're going to go about having those experiences in this lifetime, in this body, in this world. Okay. Anyway, y'all, if y'all here for the fish balls, y'all let me know. Comment below. Okay. Let me show y'all. Y'all see how... Them nails. Y'all here for these nails? 
Y'all, I got all kind of lights in around here. Do y'all like the new lighting? Let me know. But anyway, honey. Yeah. Ain't no need for y'all to, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't stress yourself out. Thank God, in a sense, for the time that you have left. <laughs> Think about how and what you want to do. <laughs> mm, excuse me, y'all. Y'all know how I burp out. Please excuse me. Please excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> and then go, on, go about doing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm be, I believe I'm going to eat all this. Mm -hmm. While I was stressing out about the breast cancer scare. I don't know why I can't talk today, y'all. Lord. I'm going. I can't talk. Mm. 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 I was stressing, so when I stress, I eat. Because typically, I don't do breakfast. Then around between noon and two, I'll eat my first lunch type meal. And then for dinner, I'll do some extra um, light, like a soup or a salad or a half of a sandwich. And then I'll eat that before seven. And then sometimes I do, I fast. I do that 16 hour fast. <clears throat> Don't eat for 16, eat for 8. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, bacon bits are so good. The bacon bits are good, y'all. This is the brand from... Um, Miss Oscar Mayer. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know I think I'm cute sometimes. I don't think I'm cute all the time. I really don't. Monet, you come get your um, fish balls, girl, if you want to. Mm-hmm. It's been 23 minutes. I'm going to cut it off. Y'all, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Okay? Mm-mm-mm. Y'all better fish y'all some fish balls, honey. They good. That tartar sauce is so good. Mm. I don't know what's the best on it, y'all. The tartar sauce or the Dukes. Okay. Let me mix it again. I can't tell, but I know they taste good together. The tartar sauce by itself to me you got a little bit too much vinegar in it so the duke's mayonnaise kind of um evens it out for me that's a lot of mayo too Ooh. 
Y'all still here? Mm -hmm. I don't even normally eat like this. Y'all know I don't. Mm. Girl, you better come get these fish balls before I eat them. Sponge, see that? They crisp me on the outside too, y'all. And don't cook them up too high. About, I don't know, let's start frying them. So you want the grease hot, yes, but not, you know, not too hot because it'll scorch it. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm gonna stuff myself today, and I normally don't do that. But I got a big appetite today for some reason. Pour a little bit of this for the rest of it. All right, y'all. Kisses and hugs. <laughs> y'all know I don't know. Girl, I done sat here and ate all this food. No, I'm doing the recording for my YouTube. I done ate all this food. Like, almost all of it. Like, I'm so stuffed. But, all right, y'all. Don't forget, comment, like, 